Okay, we're going to do some parallel processing for mastering using Cool Edit Pro. Let's get started because I've only got 15 minutes. I want to open a file. This is something that's already been um, sort of maximized and leveled off, but uh, there's no parallel process on it. It sounds like this. Two, three, four. ukulele version of Africa by Toto. Uh, so first thing we're going to do is just copy that out. Control A, Control C, and then I'm going to go paste to new because I want two copies of this. So edit, paste to new, that's Control, Shift and N, an alternative to that. So I've got, I kept the original and this is a copy. I'm going to compress the living daylights out of this now so uh, effect uh, amplitude dynamics processing now I've already got like lots of different compressors programmed in but I've got one that says drum squashed and this is like sort of max compression really uh, just a really squashy compressor two three four <laughs> that sounds mega squashed I think it's uh, turned up quite loud as well and there we go now what I'd like to see this is one big block of audio so I'm going to limit that so amplitude hard limiting I'm going to keep the volume the same but limit the max amplitude by 4 dB that's already plumbed in there and this will look like you've just taken some scissors and chopped off the peaks like that. There we go, perfect. I'm going to save that. Save as. Uh, I'll do that and then squash. Now, with Cool Edit Pro, you have to do a lot of prep like this before you uh, actually do any processing, which is a little bit annoying, but it's just the way it is. Uh, so that's. That, I think that's saved. Okay, I'm going to go into the multi track view now by going to this little button in the corner. Switch to multi track view. It says F12 is the shortcut key. And I'm going to insert both these into the multi tracker by selecting them and pressing this little button that says insert into multi track. So there we go. I'm just going to wipe these figures out. Obviously, move these over a little bit. That's uh, selecting them and right click in there to move them. Right click and drag. Okay, now I'll just turn this squashy compressor down, right down. So you'll be able to hear the original track and I'll bring up the squashy track. I'll just compare it to the original as well. You can hear the squashiness of that track there. And the level as well that it is on the bottom meters. It's the original track. So there you go, that's parallel compression. I've kept the dynamics of the original track, but it's sort of 
brings up the detail of the uh, of the quieter stuff and with things like you know acoustic instruments ukuleles and things like that it brings up these uh, just these lovely quieter sounds that are kind of masked by the transient hits but you get the best of both worlds you get the transient hits and you get the nice detail in the in the quiet stuff so that's it parallel compression probably meant to be used uh, subtly um, and this trick can be used for individual tracks uh, it can be used um, on a whole mix uh, yeah it's pretty good so that's it if you've got any questions or comments please leave them below like and subscribe for more of these kind of videos and I'll see you next time